303 and welcome back to Pokemon Sweet version. In the midst of the last episode, I may or may not have decided to put the last two battles into one episode. I'm not sure if I have done that or not because I'm just recording the whole of the pastries in one long battle. But in the last episode, Dark Cho Chocobun decided that she would have to battle us to decide who is the, indeed the strongest trainer. But in this episode, we take on this lady who is the final pastry. At... Oh, it's Sinner. Oh, is that, that the professor? Tori, you made it all the way here. Indeed, I'm a pastry. At... I did not expect to see you here. Looks like I'll have to give you my best. Get ready. So the last of the pastry is his professor Sinner. Fudgesaur and Strawizard. Okay, now that makes complete sense having the starter sweets. But they are still only level 58, so. Fudgesaur can go to sleep, and I'll use Flamethrower against Strawizard, even though I don't imagine it being that very effective. Ah, that's exactly what I thought. That's fine, but Sleep Flower shall work, so next turn I can just take care of Strawizard easily. But, you know, I'm glad they ac accidentally actually implemented into this game the opportunity to battle the Professor in one way or another. Because, I don't know about you, but it's always been a thing I've wanted to be able to do, would be battling the Professor of the region. It doesn't matter which... hasn't mattered which game I wanted to... or wanted to play, which game I've played. I've always thought it'd have been cool to have the opportunity to battle the professor. But I do think it is as weird as it is, I do think it's sort of taking the cheap way out. Oh no, I just got it. I don't know whether Sinner is going to have the Pistoise, but it would actually kind of make sense if she didn't, because she's used the other two starter suites. And maybe they're the two that we haven't taken? Oh, a Queemacent, great. These, these Queemacents have been the bane of my existence. And I, th and I can't remember, but I'm sure there was one basic type that I used a lot that it was weak against. And I think it might have been Raspberry. But I'm not sure. Right. Is it Raspberry that Queemacent was weak against? It was indeed, right. Good for you, Brain. You remembered. And this battle is going by a lot quicker than I anticipated. Oh, no. There we go. There's the Pistoise. So she is just using all three of the... Uh, uh, starter Sweets, that's the one. Well done, Brain. You completely forgot what you were trying to say. And... I, no, that, that makes sense, I guess. Oh, well, Free Burn. Ooh, sick burn! <laughs> Excuse me while I... Oh, what? Okay, I wasn't expecting Pistoise to be weak against Raspberry types. But you know what? I shan't complain and I will take that super effective hit. And last is Golpie. Eh, I'm not too bothered about Golpie. If I recall, it was weak against Lime type, but... You know what? Since Fudgesaur's asleep, I might as well... I might as well just go for different type moves and see what I can do and just see effectiveness. I don't know, but it's making no difference as long as for just... Oh, I was going to say... Oh, it's trying to heal itself even though it hasn't taken any damage. Um, You know what, let's go for Pie Beam and Flamethrower because surely Flamethrower has to be super effective against one of the sweets. Uh, no... Okay, apparently apparently all of the starter sweets are resilient against orange type. But at any rate, it was a critical hit, so she's only got that fudge assault left and it's down to red health. And even with fudge slap and the lowered accuracy. You know what, let's go for the razor lime and the banana wing. Oh, I was actually, I was fully anticipating that banana wing to miss. But you know what, I shan't complain. Aria Cake grows to level 66 just in time for the final battle against Dark Chocobun, and we've defeated Professor Sinner. Oh, fudge bars. 
You beat us all. You may go. Although, I heard something in Chocobun's room. I hope nothing's wrong. Now I'm going to go for the traditional, I say traditional, for the healing of all my sweets. Um, now, and I don't want to move forward just yet in case it accidentally just drags us in. Right, so I just, I'm just thinking of how I want my, or how I want, what I wish my second poker suite to be. Um, now Manalime doesn't know any special moves, I don't think. I will just take a quick look. Uh, can it learn Rasp or Rasp? No. Um, Brain Freeze, can it learn that? It cannot. Um, can it learn Surf? No. Focus Punch is physical. Bullet Mint. Bullet Mint's a weak attack that it can't even learn anyway. Solar Beam, that's fine. Aerial Ace, that's a physical attack, but it can learn it. Right, okay then. Other than Thief, I think that's going to be it. So thank you for watching, and join me in the next episode, where I hopefully assume we will be taking on Dark Chocobun. See you then. <laughs>